about this. Clearly, they would have voted a different way if they were still on the city council. We're talking about Carl DeMaio and Scott Sherman. And yeah, so yesterday, essentially what the council did was voted to put it on the ballot so all of us will have a chance to vote on this in November. And of course, there's a lot of funny language being used. It's free garbage collection. And right now, uh, there's inequity and some people are paying and some people aren't. And, and that's true. But the politicians are the ones who set up the inequity. And now apparently they want to make it even more inequitable by charging a new tax for something that's already being paid for with extremely high property taxes. If you own a home, you know how high your property taxes are. That is what it's paid for with now. But apparently that's not enough. Even with a hundred billion dollar surplus up in Sacramento, the guys over here want to wrench a few more bucks out of our pocket. So take a look at the reaction. For the past 103 years, collecting garbage in the city of San Diego has been paid for with extremely high property taxes on extremely expensive home prices. Now, the current group over at City Hall wants more, and two former city council members are outraged. These city council members and the mayor are proving once again that they're liars, thieves, and cheats. They are lying about the whole process as well as the system that we have in place for trash pickup in San Diego that goes back all the way to 1919. Uh, and they're hoping that this lie sticks and that people feel as though there's some sort of inequity or problem. There is no problem. At issue here is something called the People's Ordinance, approved by voters in 1919 here in San Diego and reaffirmed over the years it always used property taxes to pay for garbage collection. But then in the 90s, politicians found a loophole claiming it only applied to single family homes, not the condos or the apartments, who now pay a separate garbage tax. This was a, an inequity created by the politicians, so if they think it's unequal, and I agree it's unequal, the politicians should undo their bad policy. As opposed to? As opposed to trying to say, oh, now that we've stuck the bill with these guys over here because we exploited a loophole, now you guys should pay us because everyone needs to share in the pain. Oh, baloney. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that there's enough pain to go around already with record inflation, record high gas prices, and people are hurting. Look, nothing says they don't give a rip about working families more than in the middle of an inflationary environment that we haven't seen in you know 40 years. Mayor Todd Gloria and the city council members decide to add to your pain by imposing a garbage tax. If you listen to the politicians trying to sell this tax increase, they will tell you garbage collection is currently free for single family homes. Of course, that is a complete lie. The city is saying that it's not fair that people get it for free because you don't get it for free. That money goes into the general fund. And once it goes into the general fund, it's up to the politicians on where to spend it. They just need to come up with the priorities to make sure that they keep providing the service they always have. But this is now headed to the ballot box. The voters will have the final say. But of course, those ballot measures can be deceiving and oftentimes are. You're not going to see the term garbage tax. You're not even going to see fee or tax on the ballot. You're going to see something along the lines of, uh, you know, improving environmental waste management to the benefit uh, of a homeless service programs and children. OK, they got to get the children in there somehow. And so these people, again, are liars, cheats and thieves. If they lie to you on your ballot, they are not going to be trustworthy with any more money given to them. And like almost everything in today's political climate, division is one of the favorite tools they use to get their way. But the word is out. They're trying to make it to where it's homeowners against condo and apartment mm -hmm. owners, and they're making that, that fight because it's always good to have two opposing sides battling it out. Yeah. And, but to me, why not try and make the service available for everybody instead of passing on yet another fee when times are tough right now? I mean, the economy's tough, inflation is up, adding another fee onto people to get something that they've already paid for in their property tax, yeah. to me, doesn't seem like the right way to go. All righty. Well, neither one of them are currently voting members on the city council. The group over there obviously thinks this is the way to go. And all of us will have a chance to vote on it on the ballot. By the way, Carl said he did a little bit of math on this. And judging by the numbers they're throwing around at City Hall for how much they charge, it would be between $350 and $500 
every year for each homeowner that currently obviously pays a lot of property taxes just to live in that land. And those property taxes, of course, get spread around, spread around for a variety of things, including garbage collection. But in their eyes, what you need to do is undo the inequity that you did when you cut the condos out. Let the condos property taxes pay for it. Let the apartment buildings property taxes pay for it. And forget about all these new taxes. Of course, what they're going to do, they're going to draw that battle line. They're going to use inequity. The rich people are getting away with things. Oh, these are these are bad people who are getting away with free garbage. It's not free. I don't even understand the word free. How can they even say free when you look at the property tax bill that we all get a couple times a year? It's not free. So there you go, you guys. We'll throw it back to you. Obviously, we'll be talking about this more as we head toward the ballot box. Very interesting to see that ballot language. That will be fun.